Hi, I'm Lars Schmidt. I'm NPR's Head of Talent Acquisition and Innovation, and I'm joined today by our Vice President of Programming, Eric Newsom. Hi. Hi. So, Eric, you've been busy. We've, uh, we've been quite busy in the area of programming, and we've launched several new shows recently. So why don't you tell us a little bit about them? Well, historically, public radio shows take years to develop. And we've been thinking recently of, is there a more agile, um, innovative way for us to create new programs where we can uh, experiment quickly, succeed or fail quickly, and um, cut out a lot of the time that takes to really establish a new show. And um, so this past year, we started with three concepts, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Cabinet of Wonders, which is a variety show taped in New York City, uh, the TED Radio Hour, which takes a content from uh, TED Talks, featured at TED conferences, many people see them online, um, and kind of blows them out into conversations and features around ideas, exploring ideas. And then Ask Me Another, which is a uh, live hour of puzzles, word games, and trivia taped in front of an audience. Mm -hmm. uh, think of the best pub night you've ever been at right. and uh, make it into a radio show. Cool. So these shows all sound like they're a bit of a departure from some of our current and recent programming. So tell me a little bit about what the response to them has been. The response has been terrific. I mean, we've been hearing from the audience for years that they love our news programming and they love our cultural and entertainment programming as well, such as Car Talk, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, and they wanted to see us do more of that. Stations have also been asking us to do more. And so we decided to, this year, to take a decidedly non-topical, non-news bend to our uh, uh, experiments mm -hmm. and create things that were targeted for weekends, yeah. fun, yet smart. Cool. And I understand the uh, the TED positions will be based here in D.C. The Ask Me Another Show positions will be based in New York. So tell us a little bit about it. I know we're going to be staffing those groups up. So tell me a little bit about the roles that we're going to be hiring. Well, Ask Me Another is going to be uh, all New York based. Okay. The, the shows are recorded there. Uh, the staff that we are, are that are coming over from the pilots are, are all based in New York. Mm -hmm. um, it's unique for NPR because it's a unique skill set. We're looking for people who um, can kind of create fun events, right. can also translate those events into something that an audience who's not present mm -hmm. can have uh, feel like they're part of it. Mm -hmm. That they're not looking in over the fence. They feel like they're really there and part of the the action. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking for people who can write puzzles. We're looking, uh, that's a unique skill in a news right. organization. Um, uh, people who can uh, write f comedy and uh, f uh, humor and uh, people who so can help get, us, get this whole thing together. Yeah. TED Radio Hour is going to be one of the shows that we're going to be launching. And uh, many people who especially follow us on NPR.org are probably what, very familiar with the TED programming and the TED talk. So tell us a little bit about how we're going to be incorporating that into radio and what that show is going to be like. Well, the show really is about ideas. It's not about news. It's not about issues that are being played out. In fact, it's very much not about policy or specific prescriptions for how to address problems, mm -hmm. but is uh, innovative ideas to look at things around us and kind of approach them from a different perspective. And we uh, take those TED Talks that people watch online, mm -hmm. um, and we go back with those people uh, who uh, created those talks. Or perhaps, you know, many oftentimes there are several people with very different opinions about how to approach a subject. Right. And so we talk to all of them and kind of really dive in deep for a real exploration of the ideas and the thinking behind it. So for that show, we really are looking for people who have the skills of really kind of tearing apart an, uh, an idea, diving in deep, really thinking about it in a very nuanced way, and being able to make that really sticky and entertaining for someone on the radio, either through being a great editor, being a great uh, soundscape artist, and being able to create uh, a, a sonic uh, uh, audio version of that idea. Um, and uh, so we're looking for people who can write, who can edit, and really who can make uh, audio art. And so this is really kind of a startup venture within NPR in terms of these programs. They're very entrepreneurial nature in terms of how they're being developed. So tell me a little bit about the people who we bring into these jobs. What can they expect over their first year? Um, well, judging from our pilots, the things that we said often uh, were, were two things. One, mm -hmm. uh, make every minute count. We want to make sure that every minute that's on that radio show uh, is something that people just can't tune away from. Right. And the second is is kind of a startup mentality of we're just going to have to figure that out. Right. There's a lot of stuff that we, we know what we want to create. We've had a great uh, run of pilot programming. 
But there's so many things that we haven't answered. And, and when we bring this team together, we're just going to plow through and, and figure it out. It's, it's, even though NPR is an established news organization, this is really a startup culture right. where we are putting smart people together who want to, uh, who want to create something out of nothing. And uh, it's, it's a tremendously exciting opportunity. All right. Well, I'm Lars Schmidt, and I want to thank our VP of Programming, Eric Newsom, for joining us. Absolutely. And uh, you can find these jobs on our career site at npr.org slash about slash careers.